So Rossiter has actually been in the boat manufacturing business for over 45 years. And uh, to say that they figured it out at this point is uh, quite the understatement. So the 14 Rossiter was actually the first model that they came out with uh, with a power option uh, with an outboard on the back there. And it is by far our, popular, our most popular model uh, to date. So it does a really good job at you know, combining the nostalgic look, as you can see, incorporated by things like the you know, rope threaded uh, gunnel, um, sleek lines and uh, an elegant interior with the you know added benefit of modern day technology and modern day design so though it may look like um, you know more of an older boat uh, in terms of the classicness of it um, needless to say it performs as you would expect out of you know a brand new boat today so a big key feature that uh, a lot of people point out um, is its ability to plane uh, regardless of you know its shortened size um, even with you know a full five adults in this which is what it's rated for it will still plane out uh, with plenty of horsepower to go uh, and very very little bow rise so it, it has to do with where they've located the driving position because it's a lot more forward uh, placed than a lot of boats it distributes the weight a little better and gives you a lot more weight up in the front of the boat which helps with again planing uh, as well as you know going through chop going through rough water maneuvering um, and a variety of features so the design on this boat, very well done. All right, so starting up at the front of the boat, uh, you do have a built-in fuel tank, so there's no portable tank. This is built right into the belly of the boat. Um, that cap fill is at the very front there, and then moving your way back, you've got this nice front seat that does actually have a storage compartment inside of it. Right now, that's got the cover in it. And then working our way back, we've got our driver's position, um, as well as our primary bench seat. Now, the bench seat also does have storage beneath it. There's a latch at the back here, which opens up, gives you lots of room to put stuff. And then in addition, you've got your bulk storage in the back of the boat here. So this is where you maybe put a bag of life jackets, maybe a tube, some ropes, all that can just kind of go in this trunk type area. Now, if you did want to access this while you're driving the boat uh, or stopped, then it's as easy as pulling that seat out and then you can get through there and you're not stepping over anything. So this boat we ordered specifically with this gray um, deck color, uh, which is lining the entire inside. Um, we went for almost like a, a dark out or blackout type look with this boat. So we do have a darkened varnish teak Right, as well as the flagpole, which is a dark and varnished as well. Um, and then we have an entirely black hull side, uh, which comboed with this gray looks very, very sharp. Finally, at the back of the boat here, uh, we have got a small little compact swim ladder, which will flip down so you can get in and out if you guys are going swimming, um, as well as your removable ski toe option. So that's added there. Um, yes, you can too behind this boat and you can even water ski, I've seen it done before. Um, and then of course in the back here, we got your 40 horse. So the benefit of the 40 horsepower is uh, in terms of licensing, uh, children under the age of 16 and above the age of 12, they can actually drive this vessel. Um, so for a lot of people, that's a big pro, um, making it you know, a very good boat for children or grandchildren uh, or whomever of that age is, is gonna wanna run around in something like this. In addition, we have also added this uh, nice and safe bow rail at the front here, um, keeping people you know, safe and secured inside the boat. Um, in terms of safety, on another note, um, the stringer system in this boat is actually foam filled, uh, which means that this is unsinkable. Um, and that foam filling also adds to damper the, the loudness of the lake. So as you're driving, you get a very quiet ride because that is you know, below your feet and between the water. Um, they take a lot into account when they do the construction of these boats and those features are really good examples of it. Thank you so much for spending the time with me. If you'd like to learn more about this boat or others, visit our website at walkerspointmarina.com and we'll see you on the water.